Congrats on getting the game done, man, by the way. GG's. Everybody here should buy M. Van Devender's game. Except you can't yet because it's not actually on sale yet. But it will be unless he's a liar about the game. Still crunching a little on the game. I know. Yeah, that's how it goes. That's how it goes when there's like one week left. Boy, I sure wish I was one week left from releasing some of my stuff. Yeah, don't let game developer Twitter know that you're working on your game. They'll get really angry. You don't get it? Game developer Twitter is all about... Oh, is there one? I didn't actually realize there was another Twitter storm. I just said that because that's how it is. What is the current thing that's happening? I, I follow zero game development people now, so I literally don't know anything, and I'm much happier for it. But the reason I said that was game development Twitter has decided that actually doing work is some combination of lack of self-care and or reinforcement of capitalism and the patriarchy and or endorsement of the crunch culture that obviously pervades all of the industry and makes it evil. Callisto protocol programmer talking about them crunching. What is Callisto protocol? Callisto protocol. Survival game. December 2022. Okay, so someone said, hey, we're crunching on this game, and everyone was like, oh my god! Oh my god! How dare you work hard on something? That shouldn't be your choice. Everyone's reaction was very, how dare you? I know. I mean, what, it's very weird. Again, I talk about this sometimes, but like, for some people... Doing good, high quality work helps make life meaningful, right? And so somehow, right, this whole corner of Twitter has, they haven't examined their assumptions, but they think in everything in life is supposed to be about, I don't even know how to say it, right? About having the easiest time about everything in all ways. And like, you don't, like, again, when you go become a Navy SEAL, like, the boot camp is supposed to be hard because it makes you fucking better, right? Like, that's just what it is. If you don't allow people to do that, I don't know. I'm not even going to rant about it. It's just so obvious to me that all these people are super horrible and wrong that I don't even know what to say about any of it. But again, it's also very obvious there's this aspect of wanting to tear people down who succeed. And even though a lot of the people saying this won't admit that that's what they're doing, human psychology is very buried sometimes. And that's exactly what they're doing. Because if somebody else works hard and you don't, then they're in danger of succeeding where you won't. And then you have to stop them, right? It just... Game making has enough interesting topics to post on Twitter about, but somehow that's not what these people do. I know. I know. They do things like spend an entire week harassing me because I said I don't think vaccine mandates seem very good. And like all of game developer Twitter, not all of it, but a substantial portion of it is like, oh my God. Oh my God. It's just so hard to take seriously anymore. Who on earth thinks vaccine mandates are great? Literally everybody who was harassing me earlier this year. Or maybe it was even last year. I don't know. It was probably last year. I can't end my turn without flailing or blundering. Oh God, this is a game made by millennials.
This is a game about mental health by millennials. I bet they're telling themselves during development, like, oh, this game, it's really got a mission. It's an important game because it teaches people not to be stressed.